Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it has been a minute since I have filmed anything for this channel. Um, I've been kind of in a funk lately, I guess. I don't know. Um, and since I'm finally back, I figured I would finally film this room tour that everybody has been asking me to do forever. Probably since the very beginning of my channel. This is one of my most requested videos and I've kind of fought it. Not that I fought it, but I've been putting it off for a long time. Um, really just because these are the kind of videos that I don't really tend to watch even from my favorite YouTubers. That's just not my thing. And I tend to film videos that I like to watch. But I spend a lot of time in this room and I'm actually kind of excited to show you guys around. But everything is finally clean, organized, ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and get this camera off this clip and we'll go ahead and start this tour. So you guys only ever see the setup behind me when in reality, this room looks just a little bit different than you imagine it would. But uh, yeah, it's all smoke and mirrors, I guess. And so I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I see when I first walk into this room. Um, come with me. So this is what I see when I first walk into this room. So there is a baby gate you have to be careful of. This is the one room in the house that the dogs do not have access to. Um, it is a wood paneled nightmare. I am not a fan at all of wood paneling. I think it is so fucking ugly. Uh, but I have tried to cover it up as much as possible in all of the background stuff that you see behind me and all of my pictures and all of my videos. Um, but again, right here where you never see any of that. We still got the wood paneled nightmare happening. Um, and then this is just like a quick rotation around this room. Uh, but yeah, this is what the room looks like when you first walk in. And so here is my closet. I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. So, and here we have got all of my shoes. We've got all of my t-shirt, not all of my t-shirts at all. Um, I've got the t-shirts that I have in regular rotation right now. Um, up here we have CDs, DVDs, um, a foot bath, some hair supplies, some developer for hair color. Um, but yeah, that is a pretty tightly packed closet there. And we will go ahead and close that. And here we have my roommate's dresser. This houses all of his clothes. I mean, this is really like a dressing room. I just kind of took it over as, you know, my filming setup and all of that. So um, we have a treadmill right here, which I like to think that at some point I'm going to get my fat ass back on this thing. Um, I do have the TV set up right there. So when I pull this treadmill back, there's plenty of space here for it to lay out and then and I can watch TV um, that is mounted to the wall. It's on a swivel, so I can change the position of the TV. Um, but again, I do have a treadmill. I feel like everybody has one of these in their house, and I don't think that most people ever use them for more than like a coat rack. Um, sometimes I actually do have some clothes hanging right there on hangers on that little bar. Um, but, and then we've got the vanity set up, of course. Um, we'll look at that in a second. We've got some more storage stuff right here. And then we have all of this stuff right here is storage as well. So do I want to start here or do I want to start with the vanity? Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and start with the vanity. We'll go ahead and pull out all the drawers, look at what's going on inside of there. And then after we're done looking at that, then we can go back and look at some of this garbage over here. So as far as my vanity setup goes, um, um, this whole thing came from Ikea. Um, it's a pretty standard setup. We've got the Alex drawer here. We've got the same one over here on this side. And then a tabletop, which that's not actually like bolted down to anything. It just sits on top of it. But I really, really do like this setup. Um, it seems pretty sturdy. I've had it for a couple of years. Um, it cleans up pretty well. It doesn't, it hasn't really seemed to stain at all. So, and then as far as my lighting setup goes, I have a ring light and then I have two soft boxes, one on either side here. And I picked up all three of these lights on Amazon. And I think that maybe total, it was about 150 bucks or so. And the ring light, you can make it dimmer, you can make it brighter. Um, I actually like to keep it at the same brightness as the soft boxes that I have. Um, and with those, I actually have those mounted to the wall. I don't know that you're really gonna be able to see 
this one, maybe if I go up here. Um, but I did get some mounts for the wall on Amazon and I think I maybe paid like $5 a piece for those. And then with the ring light, I actually drilled a hole through my tabletop here. And then I just kind of took the stand and I just fed it through the table there. Um, there is a little clip on it right here, but I'm able to slide my phone right into this clip and then it tightens, it loosens, it's totally adjustable. And so that is my lighting, it's permanently set up. I have a mirror that goes along that back wall, which also came from Ikea. And it's great because when I'm sitting down here at my vanity, I'm doing makeup in this mirror right here, hello. So not only am I using this mirror for up close application, but then I also have a second opinion from a little bit further away, you know what I mean? And so this is what I see every morning when I sit down to do my makeup. I've got my brushes, I've got my Ouija board, I've got my laptop with a beauty video or a horror movie on it. Right now we've got some beauty videos. Um, do I believe in ghosts and spirits and Ouija boards and all that stuff? Eh, not necessarily. I just really like the aesthetic of it overall. Um, as far as my brushes go, I've got four of these canisters. Well, there's actually two. There's a top and a bottom to each, um, but I've got my Face brushes in these two. I've got my eye brushes in this one. And then I have one that is specifically for dirty brushes. So that way I'm not taking dirty brushes and sticking them back in with clean brushes. You know what I mean? I've got my everyday palettes right here, which we'll get into in just a little bit. I've got a shelf right here next to me where I've got disinfecting wipes. I've got my Sigma uh, dry and shape tower, I think is what it's called, where you put your clean brushes in here. It's got these little elastic bands which kind of help to reform your bristles. Um, and then the handles of your brushes snap into here. So you've got face brushes here. You've got eye brushes up here. Um, just some random stuff. I've got a magazine rack, which I also got from Ikea, and it has some vintage magazines. It's got my Showgirls press kit, and then this vintage makeup book, which is really cool. But this is pretty much my view every day when I'm doing my makeup, um, whether I'm filming videos or whether I'm just doing my regular makeup routine um, before work, getting ready for work or whatever. Um, this is it. This is what I'm always looking at. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look inside of these drawers of my vanity. Um, this drawer has a bunch of random shit. We've got some pens, pencils, scissors, just random shit like that. Um, we've got some pliers, you know, just like a catch-all kind of drawer. Um, my old Morphe Pro card, um, my Cedar Point Platinum Pass, just random shit. Um, um, this thing is really, really handy. Um, so this is a remote control for my iPhone, and this thing is really handy for for taking pictures. So um, you don't have to set your phone on a timer to take pictures. You just hold this and you just click this button and it just takes pictures. So I think I paid about $20, $25 for this at the Apple store and it works through Bluetooth. And this thing is really, really handy. I think that everybody needs one of these. And just some random kind of stuff in the back of this drawer, nothing really important. Um, in the second drawer, this one is really random, but this one is probably a little bit more fun. Um, so I've got a bunch of stickers in this bag. Um, we can look at those at another time. Um, I've got lots of buttons and pins and stuff going on in here. Um, this one, actually a client got for me. It's an Amanda Lepore pin. It's actually autographed to me. This is from a client. Um, that's really, really cool. Um, swatches, we've got some Play-Doh, um, just I guess kind of random shit. Buttons, pins, patches, um, a poison tape, um, bobby pins, just some random shit that's probably a little bit more fun than the stuff that's going on in this drawer up here. Nothing super important, nothing beauty related, but just kind of another random junk drawer. Um, this drawer here, definitely unorganized, but this one is more like body products. Um, these here are for self-tanner. That's why they look really gross. Um, these are great for applying self-tanner to your back um, because you're able to read. It's almost like a back scratcher, uh, but it's got like this styrofoam 
kind of thing on the end of it. And you can just apply lotion to your own back without the help of somebody else. Um, lots of lotions, deodorants. I would like to get some more organization stuff for these drawers, especially for this drawer because it's kind of a mess. Um, but that's more like body product stuff. This drawer is packed really tight. This is all hair care products and not even hair care, but more like hair styling. So I've got a hair cutting cape, some foils. Um, I've got some hair color stuff, blow dryer. I've got my three barrel iron. There's a crimping iron in there somewhere. Um, these Alex drawers are great because they go back really, really far. You can't even see how far back that goes, um, but you can really pack them full of a lot of stuff. Um, but again, this one is for hair coloring, I guess, more than anything else. And then the last drawer on this side is all for nail stuff. So there is, oh, there's cords in the way. Um, we've got regular polishes. We've got gel polishes. Um, we've got fake nail shit over here. Um, this poly gel stuff here. This poly gel stuff here, this is actually really cool. Um, you can take this and mix it with glitters and all other kinds of stuff and sandwich stuff onto your nail. Um, I really like this stuff a lot. It's a little pricey. I think this was maybe like $35, um, but I've got some really good use out of this stuff and I've created some really cool nail art with it. Um, we've got, this bag here has like nail files and shit like that. That in it. Um, I've got a lamp for my gel polishes. Um, there are some random foot masks and things like that that I haven't ever used. Um, so that's for nails. And then we come over to this side of the vanity, and this is where all the makeup is. So we've got glitter in this top drawer. So there's so much glitter from Lit Cosmetics. They're probably my favorite as far as glitter goes. Um, we've got eyeshadow primers. We've got glitter adhesives. We've got more glitter here. Um, this one right here is really fun because this is a custom mix that I did that's got, there's so many different kinds of glitters in here, and this one is really good for the body. You're never going to be able to see what that looks like, but maybe in another video. I would like to do a video that is swatches of all of my glitters. Let me know if you would like to see that. Um, I've got some love notes from Lit, which I've saved all of that kind of stuff. Um, this goes back pretty far. You can't even see all the stuff that's in there. Um, we've got some pigments from MAC. We've got some glitters from MAC. And these are like the old packages from the MAC pigments. So I have some really, really old stuff in here actually, but I'm never getting rid of any of that. Oh, and these dividers that are in some of these drawers, they're not in all of them. I need to buy some more of them. They're also from Ikea. They're a very sturdy cardboard. Um, I need to buy a few more of those, but they've really come in handy and I like those a lot and they're really affordable. So those will be in the description box. Um, so in the second drawer here, we've got lots of eyeliners, lip liners, um, gel liners, eyeliner sharpeners, Mascara, that kind of stuff, fake eyelashes, disposable mascara wands, um, all of that kind of stuff. Um, we've got some microblading supplies in here apparently because I didn't have anywhere else to put it. Um, that's pretty much what's going on in this drawer. Here we've got our foundation drawer, um, which is kind of overloaded with beauty sponges right now. Um, these are the AOA Wonder Blenders. These are a dollar, they're a dollar fifty-five, and I really like them. I think I like them better than the original Beauty Blender, which is has always been my favorite beauty sponge. Um, but I think that the Wonder Blender has definitely taken its place. We've got foundations, we've got concealers, we've got some powders in here. Um, and this goes back pretty far. We've got lots of highlighters here, some face powders. This is my favorite setting powder. This is the Ben Nye Pretty Pink Translucent Powder. And I am really, really hot pink. So that one is a great color for me. Um, we've got a couple of these cover effects drops. One is glitter and the other one is one of the regular custom enhancer drops. It's more like a highlighter. 
but we've got a bunch of face stuff in this drawer here. Next drawer down, we have our depotting supplies. So we have the Z Potter. Um, I've got this container that has so many of the magnets that go onto the bottom of your pan. So like your eyeshadow pans, that kind of stuff. Um, and then I have a bunch of empty Z palettes. Um, I have ones from Z palette. Um, I've got one from Adept Cosmetics down there. Um, I've got one that has some eyeshadows in it. I'm not sure what I'm doing with those yet, but yeah, definitely a bunch of empty palettes down there. This one is actually a lot more handy than I thought it would be. Um, actually, it's funny because when I first got this, I kind of laughed at it because I'm like, what would you need a single Z palette for, for one tiny little pan? And you would be amazed at how much I have used this and how often I have brought it with me um, because I have so many custom lipsticks that I've made. You don't have a custom lipstick in a tube because you made it yourself. So you're able to put that in here, take it with you with a little brush and you can touch up on the go with this tiny little single Z palette. Um, so that one is really, really cool. And then this last drawer here is basically a graveyard. Um, so I've got a bunch of empty products here. Um, I've got products that I'm going to be giving away, things that I just, you know, used once or twice, didn't really care about, I'm getting rid of. But there's actually quite a few empties in there, so I think that I do want to film a video with those, maybe for the end of the year, things that I've used up. So that is probably something that's going to be coming soon. So yeah, that is my video vanity setup. Um, that is pretty much what I'm looking at every single morning. Oh, and I might as well show you guys this too. This is my daily palette. So this pretty much has my full face in it that I use. This palette is from Adept Cosmetics and it's a double-sided palette. This has all of my face stuff that I use on a daily basis. In this side here, we have a bunch of single shadows. So it's pretty much, if I needed one palette to do any kind of eye look that I would wanna do, this is all I would ever really need. But this side gets used every single day. You can tell just by how much pan is going on in that palette. Um, this one gets so much love and so much use. Um, and I love the design of this palette. This one kind of closes down here and then it folds over there. And then you guys have already seen this palette. This one is also from Adept. This one has a bunch of depotted palettes in it. Um, but again, this one right here, this is every day. If I had to get rid of everything else in my collection, I could make do with everything that's just inside of this palette. And from there, we move over to this area where we have some eyeshadow palettes. Um, I've got some Z palettes that I've had made. I've got a couple of customs. Um, and the custom Z palettes are really, really cool. Um, so you guys have probably already seen this one. Um, I got a picture of myself put on that one. Um, and then I have this one that I just put together a bunch of pictures of my favorite glam band and put those on that palette there. But you can never go wrong with just like a standard black Z palette. I really, really like those ones a lot too. Um, then I've got a couple of Morphe palettes here. Um, I've got some acrylic makeup organizers here where I have a couple of Z palettes that have glitter in them. Um, a lot of these are the glitters that I have in this top drawer here, but I put them in these travel containers from Z palette and then they go right into these palettes here. Um, I've got a bunch of palettes in this drawer and in this drawer here. Um, and in this bottom drawer here, I have all of my lip products. So I've got a Z palette that has some lipsticks that I've melted down. I've also made some custom shades in here as well. And then I've got lots of lip glosses. Pretty much everything is nude. Um, there are a few like, you know, we've got some hot pink action going on in there, some deeper shades, but realistically, I really love a nude lip and I've got pretty much an entire drawer of nude lip glosses there. 
So there's that one. Um, we've got, this is a travel bag from Z Palette, and this thing is great. It has so many compartments. It's got some Velcro dividers that you can put inside of it. Um, and this is really like a travel case for makeup artists, but this is just like my everyday bag. This is like my work bag. This usually has my lunch in it, um, but I take that with me to work. Um, I've got another Ouija board here that I just bought. Um, I've got one of these message boards that the message that I put on it I put in the middle of the summer when everybody was bitching about how hot it was and I never changed the message and now we actually do have snow outside so um, I have this plastic machete that was autographed by Betsy Palmer who was Mrs. Voorhees in the first Friday the 13th movie um, and it's kind of peeling off here so I need to figure out something to do with this so this entire entire thing doesn't peel off of there because Betsy Palmer is no longer with us and I'd hate for this thing to be ruined. I have the JD Glow Cosmetics Colossal Pro Palette and Colossal, that is no joke. This thing is gigantic. Um, but what's funny is you open this thing up and it's such a huge palette and it has this tiny, tiny little mirror right here in the center. Um, I really wish that this had been a gigantic mirror that took up the entire inside of this. Um, even if it had cost more money, I think it would have been totally worth it to have a gigantic mirror in here. Um, with as tiny as this one is, I'm like, why did you even bother? Um, I also, oh, there's a palette inside of here. So I have the Give Me Glow Cosmetics. Um, this is their XXL Pro Custom Palette. And then this has a bunch of face products in it. Um, this is basically my overflow face products. Um, things that I'm not really using a lot, but things that I'm not getting rid of. I've got all of my Posh Pepper Beauty highlighters over here. And then just a bunch of random face products in this palette. Um, but that one fits snugly right inside of that giant JD Glow Cosmetics palette. So that's where he's living right now. Um, I've got a bunch of boxes here that I guess are mostly empty. Um, let's see. We've got some lube. We've got some Naked Dude playing cards in there. <laughs> uh, what do we got? We've got some Q-tips. We've got an empty one. We've got Christmas lights and Halloween lights. So just some random stuff happening there. Of course, we've got the lava lamp and we have a Freddy Krueger candle. I'm not quite sure who gave me that. Um, I do have a full size mannequin that was given to me. Um, I've had this for years. There was a bridal shop that was going out of business and I kind of knew the owner and she knew that I was, you know, kind of weird and um, thought that maybe I would like to have a mannequin and so she gave that to me and um, she's kind of lived in here ever since. Um, as far as the backdrop to all of my videos and all of my photos goes, um, you know, glam rock, lots of colors. Um, I love poison. So I've got a couple of poison posters hanging out here. Um, we've got the talking peewee doll. I've got a set list from a Peppermint Creeps concert, a Freddy glove. Um, this pink flamingo back here is signed by John Waters. Yeah, there we go. Um, so that's been autographed by John Waters. It's a little dusty, I need to clean him off. And then this painting up here, and then all of these paintings here that are done on vinyl records, were done by my friend Rachel. Um, I commissioned those of the band Pretty Boy Floyd. Um, so this one here was the front cover of the album and then the pictures of the band from the back of the album, she did those for me and I thought that those are really cool. So we've got a Pretty Boy Floyd poster that I found on eBay a long time ago. Um, of course, we have the Talking Freddy doll, which does still work work. Um, of course, we've got Chucky, and it's been commented on quite a few times that people see Chucky naked, which this has actually been rearranged a little bit, so that might look a little bit different. If we've got a skull head there, we've got a framed picture of the peppermint creeps. 
Um, we've got some dolls. Um, we've got pizzazz from the Misfits. And some dolls that I made out of Barbie dolls and baby dolls with paint and fake blood and that kind of stuff. We also have this dead bee um, that died inside of her face probably 12 years ago now. And that is still hanging on literally by a thread. There's his head, there's his body. Um, of course, we've got My Pet Monster. We've got the Pee Wee's Playhouse color form set. My Pee Wee's Playhouse lunchbox. Um, a cool makeup bag from a client, um, another Ouija board, of course. Um, I think there's probably some CDs or some DVDs inside of that. Oh, and this entire storage setup, um, I think that this all came from Big Lots. So there's two of them. Um, there's this one here. There's that one over there. Um, they're pretty sturdy. Um, I think that maybe they were about 70 or 80 bucks and they hold a lot of weight. Um, even stuff like this, like a bunch of magazines that you just don't even think about how much they weigh until there's, you know, probably 150 of them or so. Um, they definitely are really heavy and they haven't like the shelves here haven't bowed or anything like that. So they really are sturdy. I think that they were again about 70 or 80 bucks and they really do hold a lot of stuff um on this side over here i've got lots of books um i've got my record collection back there um we've got some photo albums and things like that down here um and as far as this bottom row goes um this is basically clothes so i've got socks underwear We got like my pants and stuff like that here. Um, these two containers here, so these are basically like paper products. So I've got a lot of like photos, things like that going on, old uh, yearbooks from when I was in elementary school. Um, you know, just like random stuff going on in there, which I think would be really cool for another time to do like a full video of some of the things that are in those two containers there. And then just like stuff like my record collection and books and magazines that a lot of this stuff has like autographs and things like that. Um, is any of that stuff that you would be interested in seeing as videos? Um, let me know in the comments section down below. That could be a thing. Um, even stuff like, you know, my sticker collection that I had going on in that drawer right there. There's some really, really cool stuff in there. If any of that is anything that you would be interested in seeing as far as video content, just let me know. Um, but again, yeah, that's just kind of like all the stuff that I have going on in my background there. And then finally, something I've been wanting to put in this room for like a million teen years is a mini fridge. So I have been putting skincare in my refrigerator forever. Um, also discontinued foundation, perfumes, things like that. So I have a bunch of backups of my favorite foundation. This is the Next to Nothing by MAC. Um, I've got some discontinued perfumes down here on this bottom shelf. I've got MV3 by MAC which was my favorite of all time. I've got my heroin, which has been discontinued. Velvet Teddy is still available, but I keep backups just in case. Um, this is Blue Sugar. I've got a bunch of these. Now, this was discontinued probably about 10, 12 years ago. And a Sephora employee actually gave me all of these samples for free. Everything they had in the store, he just gave to me. And so I love this one so much. So I keep this one in the fridge just so it doesn't go bad. Um, I've got some wipes in there because that kind of stuff just feels great on your face when it's cold. Um, as does eye cream. Um, my cellar water feels really good on your eyes if you put that on a cotton pad um, and then press it onto your eyes it just feels really good when it's cold and I think that a skincare fridge is just a really cool thing to have um, I've got the Jesus dress-up magnets on here um, I've got a Valentine's Day card with John Waters on it 
it for my friend Justine. There we are right there. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much everything in this room. Um, so I hope that you guys had a really good time checking everything out. And I'm sorry if this ended up being more like Blair Witch style uh, filming. Um, I really was just kind of holding the camera the whole time and I don't know how shaky this might have been. Um, but if you do want me to go like drawer by drawer and like pull things out and show things product by product, if you want me to do like an eyeshadow palette collection video or even stuff like my record collection, magazine collection, just dumb shit like that, hit me up in the comment section down below. All of that stuff is totally doable. But I'm down for whatever you guys want to see. Um, thank you so much for being so patient. Um, I haven't posted anything on my channel in a long time. I haven't filmed anything at this point in like six weeks. And it's probably going to be another few weeks before I film another makeup tutorial um, because I still have some microblading stuff to do. I'm going to be doing that in like two days. So it's going to be another probably 10 days to heal. And then I'll get back into the makeup stuff. Um, but I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. Um, I hope that it wasn't too shaky and too Blair Witch Project. Um, it probably was. Um, but again, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you guys on the next one.